Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just really wanted to make a quick video about the first car I designed. And I'm still really new with Procreate, so I'm still very bad at drawing cars, you'll see. This is the first car I did in Procreate. And what it is, is a concept of a car Lexus could make to be a competitor to Porsche Panamera, the Audi A7, the BMW 8 Series Grand Coupe, I think, and Mercedes AMG GT four-door sedan. Basically, what this is would be like a Lexus redesign of their LS, of the LS. Um, or I've heard also people want maybe the GS to come back as a, as a hatchback fastback. I believe, don't quote me on this from what I recall, it's called a sportback or a fastback sedan is what this these uh styles are called where you have the hatchback lift on the back uh but i'll just call them from now on fastback sedans so in my rendering of this really bad drawing we have i've taken an ls here and made some modifications i've kind of elongated the c pillar and also with that i while elongating the c pillar i've also elongated the greenhouse window as well uh, so we get a nice, very large cabin for the people inside. But we we were able to get that fastback style as well. Also in this front three-quarters view, I believe this chrome is stock. I didn't add that, that chrome underline. I added like a little F-Sport badge here. I did also coach doors, suicide or coach doors, whatever you want to call them. I think coach doors is better, but we got coach doors like a uh, Rolls Royce or like the new Polestar 5 concept. We also have tail lights. These tail lights are different from the stock LS. What I did here was, I have a different view of the vehicle as well from the rear, but what I did here was I elongated the tail light so it would kind of intrude onto the side of the vehicle. And this is very rudimentary. It will, it will intrude on the side of the vehicle and kind of uh, come into the body panels on the side so it doesn't abruptly stop when the back of the vehicle stops as well. Didn't do too much to the side other than the coach doors and whatnot. For the front, I really, only thing I did to the front, I left the spindle grill alone. I'm not really sure how you can redesign the Lexus grill. I'll have to go back if I ever wanted to try to redo that and see what Lexus's history is like. But, you know, that's the Lexus I know is a spindle grill. That's, uh, and I've come to love it, actually. But with their headlights, I used to not like Lexus because they did with their headlights something like little little L's here that are that were off of the headlights that look kind of like a Nike symbol. And that just made them look really odd to me. And even in the new LS, they have like a little jot down from here with the lights. So what I did in my uh, rendition of the LS Fastback was I even, I just kind of really cleaned up this headlight. Whereas it was just, we got our little L, oh goodness, we got our little L here. And it goes straight through, you know, there's no dip down. And we get like our daytime running L and then our uh, fog lights and whatnot in the head there. I think that makes for more of a clean design and it would age nicer as well. So that's the front three quarter view. The side view will be a bit different because I did not uh, use the same drawing for all of them. So this is the side view of the Lexus and it's a very big mess. This is the first thing I did for the Lexus here for this design to give me a base idea to what to do. Uh, you'll see this this side profile is different from the front three quarters view because we still have that haunch here in the back. You know, I could, I could maybe live with this shoulder here going up. It doesn't look that bad, but I think the vehicle might look better if you were to get rid of it and just have one line here going all the way to the hood and that way the greenhouse also has a slimmer profile. Also with this vehicle, we have that hatchback opening, of course. Uh, I didn't do anything with the coach doors. They're just regular doors again. Got the F-Sport badge there. I did continue to clean up that front light. The front lights of Lexus's t 
tend to bother me, especially the new ones. The end here was really tricky. I did not know how, what to do, and I was still new with Procreate, so I was trying to delete this, uh, or the needless uh, back portion of the LS that I based this off of as much as possible while trying to keep it, while trying to give the vehicle a flow of moving upwards and back throughout the design. And so you can kind of see it ends a bit abruptly around this area. And so that's why it looks sort of odd. I gave it the gas cap on the left. Nothing too much here. So it still looks very much like a typical LS or a fastback. Lexus, we see here the, the tail light design that I'm trying to give the vehicle. You get a you get a X axis. You get an X axis LED strip that intrudes onto the side of the uh, vehicle, and will and it will also originate at the uh, rear of the vehicle. Of course, we get a Y axis vertical element that we kind of see here, and I would think that you know probably in a uh, probably in a everyday operational uh, standpoint. This could be part of maybe your brake light or turn signal. And then we even see this little dash up here. I started seeing Lexus around 2013 and their GS and their um, and their ES for that matter. You know, some more, uh, I don't know what you would call it, ovular or more flowing design with their Lexus language there. So I tried to not, ha I tried to not have it so angular and try to give it some connections as well, not have it so robotic. So that's why this element is right here as well. And if we go over here at the bottom of the text, this is what I'm going for with the tail light in general. We're gonna have a continuous LED strip. Uh, we get our little organic, yeah, that's what you can call it. You can call it organic uh, LEDs there, complementing the X-axis LED continuous strip and then we also have our y-axis uh, down at the bottom there. Kind of reminded me, I, 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 I'll be honest, I stole it a little bit from Cadillac. You know, they're doing something now with their uh, Celestique or Lyric was what it's called. And in the Elder, old Eldorado, you saw something like that as well. But we go in here in this very <laughs> rudimentary drawing. It looks like the vertical element has portions of brake lights or turns... Uh, brake light and turn signal, and the x-axis continuous LED is only about brake lights, and the little organic swoop is a bit of, could be a bit of brake light and also turn signal, and, and maybe even hazard, perhaps this why axis could be hazard as well. So that's the side view, what we got going on here. Uh, I'll put on the other layer where we have all the text. You can read that as well. You know, Lexus Panamera. I think this would be a very good looking car, of course, even with that haunch. Another thing with Lexus is I don't think they have enough options. I go on their website sometimes and try to build cars, but they're not as customizable as some of the Mercedes and Audis and even Porsches are, you know, with the different exhaust options and colors. The interior, the interior options really get me going because I love the diamond pattern interiors that the Lexus has, but you never see them. They have, they have like a diamond stitching in interior and also a sort of glass, an etched glass, uh, but you never see those. And when you do see it, you can only have it with certain colors and whatnot. So I'd like to have a red interior with that diamond stitched with the glass Corinco, I think it's called trim, but they don't allow for it in their current models, which just really, uh, angers me. So now after this, we're going to go to the rear third portion. So this is the rear third portion. This is an LS still. You can see here, I have a little note. We want the rear end to kind of swoop up drastically, kind of like the Mercedes AMG GT four door sedan. Also in this one, we see I've gotten rid of the shoulder line in the rear. So it's just one continuous line here, sort of like an ES. Um, the greenhouse is still a little larger for my taste. I would like to maybe take that down about a third. Get to something more like that. But for another time. It's too, it's too bulbous at the time being. We have the coach doors. Mm, what else? 
I extended the C pillar and the greenhouse, but I did not make an effort to create an actual fastback hatchback here in this design. So that's missing. Basically what I wanted to do for this part was get the tail lights right, but the tail light design, get the tail light design right and also the exhaust. For the regular car, you would get like a more angular exhaust. And for the F-Sport model, you would get dual dual circular exhaust on either side. And so we see right here the taillight design, which they are actually implementing in some of their new cars. The IS has this, the, uh, the, the, big, the big SUV, the GX has this now, I think. I think it's called the GX or the LX. They have something going on with this continuous taillight, which is just great. I love it. They probably stole it from me. But I want, I want their sedans to have this design now, too. So we get our continuous LED tail light that runs across the length of the back trunk, and it even starts to go into the side of the vehicle. We also have this little organic element that originates kind of at the, the uh, midpoint where the trunk meets the side, and it goes out, okay? And that just gives it more brake light, you know, hazards, turn signal, whatever. And then I would also like to see them do a vertical element in their cars, which I don't think they have yet, but I think they should. I think it would look really good on Lexus. Uh, and this could be just for braking and also part of a turn signal. So, you know, tell me what you think. Is this a good idea or not? Yeah. Should Lexus make a sedan? You know, tell me what you think. What do you think of this design? Should Lexus make... Should Lexus even bother redesigning the LS? Should they redesign the GS? Should they scrap the sedans entirely? Because I think Lexus could, in theory, steal some customers from the German competitors if they were to make their own fastback sports luxury luxury sports sedan and if it were to look something like this i think it would sell very well what do you guys think let me know in the comments follow me on instagram i'll put these video uh, these pictures up there uh and you can critique them there as well but let me know what you think i think they should make something like this thanks for watching guys be sure to like comment and definitely please subscribe uh because i will bring over more videos about vehicles and also architecture if you're into that kind of stuff Thanks a lot. Have a good day.